day children how are you today are you excited to learn our lesson for today yes you should I am teacher Faith at your service we are going to learn about simple machines are you excited to learn simple machines at the end of the lesson we are going to identify the different simple machines but before that let us first consider the different safety health protocols nowadays stay at least one meter away from people and even further when indoors wear a face mask around others avoid places that are crowded confined or involve close contact with others, especially indoors. Wash your hands regularly or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Get a COVID-19 vaccine when you're offered it. Keep rooms well ventilated when you're inside with other people. Cough or sneeze into a tissue or your elbow Throw the tissue away and wash your hands after. Stay at home and call your health worker if you're unwell. Now, we are going to test your knowledge of the lesson we are about to explore. Are you ready? Let's get started! What's up? You are going to arrange the jumbled letters based on the questions I will give you. Are you ready? Let's start! What do you use when you want to open a bottle of wine? Corkscrew. You got it right. What do you use when you want to cut paper? Scissors. You're so good. What do you use when you want to slice a piece of fruit? Knife! You did it right! What do you use when you want to move a sun from one place to another? Shovel. Well done. What do you use when you want to cut your nails? Nail cutter. Perfect. What do you use when you want to catch fish? Fishing rod. Correct. Are these materials useful? Corkscrew, the knife, nail cutter, fishing rod, and 
it shovel? Let's find out. Did you enjoy the game? That's good. Let us have another one. Do you like that? Let me first check the knowledge you gained about simple machines by playing another game. Let's move! You are going to identify the illustrations I am about to show. You are going to say hooray if the illustration I am about to show uses simple machines. If not, clap your hands. Are you ready? Let's get the ball rolling! What does this illustration show? Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Awesome! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Great job! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Way to go! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Bravo! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Yay! Good job! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Yay! On target! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Right on! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Awesome! Does this illustration show the use of simple machine? Did you enjoy that? That's good! Today, we are about to explore simple machines. Bravo! You did well! These are simple machines. To further learn about simple machines, let's watch a video. Welcome to a world full of machines. Machines are objects that make it easier for people to do work. Work means that we are exerting force and moving something. We won't have to use as much force with our simple machines. Let's learn about the six types of simple machines. The six simple machines are, inclined plane, lever, screw, pulley, wheel and axle, wedge. That's it! Simple machines. Simple machine is any device that makes work easier and faster by reducing the effort and force in doing the work. At this moment, let us discover and understand more about simple machines and its six types. Are you ready? Incredible! We will play You Complete Me. Sounds sweet, right? 
Well, you just have to guess the puzzle before it is completely shown. And after identifying, we will learn more about it. Let's get started! Complete this puzzle. What does this illustration shows? It shows axe. An axe is a wedge. Wedge. The wedge is the active twin of the inclined plane. But unlike the inclined plane, which is stationary, a wedge does useful work on moving. A wedge is made up of two inclined planes. These planes meet, and form a sharp edge. For a wedge, the effort force is applied to the vertical edge of the wedge. We often see a wedge being used for many things, such as, to cut portions of an object, to lift heavy loads, to hold an object in place and avoid it from moving. The work yielded from the wedge, is inversely proportional to the inclined angle. That means, if the inclined angle is small, the wedge yields more work and may do the job faster, than a wedge with a water angle. What does this puzzle shows? The illustration shows light bulb. A light bulb is a screw. Screw. A screw is one of the most commonly used machines in the world. It is a machine that converts rotational motion into linear motion. A screw has a long and thin metal shaft with threads spiraling along its length. It also has a turning head with a groove where a screwdriver can be used to rotate the screw. The strength of a screw's hole depends on the width of the threads and the distance between them. The closer and wider the threads, the stronger the hold will be. However, more threads require more rotations to attach the screw, and wider threads require more force in the rotations. The mechanical advantage of the screw increases when the angle of the spiral increases. The screw has become an integral part of the mechanical age. It can be used to drill holes, hold things together and lift heavy objects. Did you know that a light bulb is an example of a screw? Screw. Examples of screws are bottom of the light bulb, grooves on a jar, soda bottle leads, water faucets, and hoses. What does this puzzle want to show? Illustration shows a ladder. A ladder is an inclined plane. Inclined plane. An inclined plane is a ramp that assists moving objects up and down heights. It is a plane surface set at an angle against a horizontal surface. If Max wants to lift and place this box on a ledge, it is a bit difficult. With the help of an inclined plane, Max can now push the same mass up a sloping surface, with much less effort. This is because, the force required to raise an object at a distance is greatly reduced by increasing the distance over which the force must be applied. 
So the mechanical advantage is the more the distance to cover, the less the force you need to move the load to the raised height. Did you know that a stair, is an example of an inclined plane? This is a shovel. A shovel is a lever. Lever. The lever is one of the most basic forms of a machine. It helps us lift loads with less effort. A lever can be described as a long rigid body with a fulcrum along its length. Load, the object you're lifting. Fulcrum, point at which the lever pivots. Effort, the force applied to make the object move. Levers are classified into three categories, depending on the relative position of the load, the fulcrum and the force. In the first class, the fulcrum is in between the effort and the load. In the second class, the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. And in the third class, the effort is between the fulcrum and the load. We use levers, in so many of our daily activities. Lever. Examples of lever are, for the first class lever, we have seesaw, crowbar, seesource. Second class lever, we have wheelbarrow, bottle opener. Third class lever, we have broom, shovel, and fishing rod. What does this puzzle want to show? It's complete. It is a wishing well. A wishing well is a pulley. Pulley. Sometimes, it's not easy to lift heavy objects with only human force. This problem can be fixed with the help of a simple machine like a pulley. A basic pulley comprises of a wheel on a fixed axle with a groove along the edges to guide a rope. When you put two or more pulleys together you have created a great lifting machine. You increase the mechanical advantage and it becomes very easy to lift the same load. The trade-off is that as you increase the number of pulleys, you require a greater amount of rope to achieve the same result. By decreasing the effort needed to lift the load, you have to apply the force for a longer period of time. What does this illustration want to show? It's almost complete. It is a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow is a wheel and axle. Good job! Wheel and axle. When we have to move a really heavy object, we have to use a great deal of force to push it. That's because of friction, the force that's resisting the motion of the object on the ground, and gravitational force, the force that pulls the object to the ground. The wheel and axle solves this problem. In this symbol machine, 
a wheel is locked to a central axle, and they rotate each other when a force is applied, on either one of them. When we place a heavy object on the axle and push it, the rolling of the wheels reduces the friction making it easier to move. We see the wheel and axle in many of our daily activities, such as when we use a car, a shopping trolley, or a wheelchair. Did you know that a doorknob is an example of a wheel and axle? Wheel and axle. Examples for wheel and axles are bicycle, Ferris wheel, helicopters, windmill, and electric fan. These were the six simple machines that make work much easier to do. Simple machines are inclined plane, lever, screw, pulley, wheel and axle, and wedge. Let us learn more. Congratulations! I know it is easy for you to identify the different simple machines shown in the puzzle. And I am now confident that you can identify the different types of simple machines. Excellent! You are making me proud. But wait, there's more. Let us have another activity to solidify your understanding and skills on the different simple machines. This entitled, Where Do I Belong? Using the different pictures, classify what simple machine they belong. What kind of simple machine the illustration shows? Three, two, one, go! A pulley. Great job! What kind of simple machine the illustration shows? Three, two, one, go! The answer is wheel and axle. Great job! What kind of simple machine does the illustration show? Three, two, one, go! The answer is lever. Awesome! What kind of simple machine does the illustration shows? Three, two, one, go! The answer is inclined plane. Incredible! What kind of simple machine does the illustration shows? Three, two, one. One, go! The answer is wedge. Wonderful! What kind of simple machine does the illustration show? Three, two, one, go! Screw. Marvelous! Good job! Let us sum up our learning by identifying what type of simple machine is appropriate in the description given. Let us call this activity, What Am I? What Am I? 
it is a flat surface with one end higher than the other. This allows for heavy objects to slide up to a higher point rather than be lifted. It is generally easier to slide something than to lift it. What am I? Inclined plane. Awesome! What am I? It is made up of a straight, rigid object like a board or a bar which pivots on a turning point called a fulcrum. What am I? A lever. Wonderful! What am I? It uses a wheel with a rod attached in the middle as an axle to help it to lift or move loads. What am I? A wheel and axle. Well done! What am I? It is a simple machine used to push two objects apart made up of two inclined planes back to back. What am I? A wedge. Accurate. What am I? It is basically an inclined plane wrapped around a pole. It can be used to lift things or to hold them together. What am I? A screw. You got it right. What am I? It is a type of simple machine that uses a wheel with a groove in it and a rope. The rope fits into the groove and one end of the rope goes around the load. What am I? A pulley. You did it. And we're done. Excellent. Very good, everyone. Now we're almost done. We have learned so much about simple machines. Now, we are going to talk about what you can do. Light out. My house is damaged. Can you tell me what simple machines I am going to use to repair my house? Can you help me? Very good, kids. Thank you for repairing my house. It looks good. Good job! In order to evaluate the level of your mastery of our lesson, kindly answer the assessment. Fill in the circles with the different simple machines. And on the triangle, fill it in with three examples. Sort the illustrations below according to its place in the table chart.